Well, hi, everybody from The Grid, and as promised, last week when we did our blind photo critiques, this week we were going to show you how to get rid of glows, and I uh, wish I could be there with you, but uh, at least we can still learn how to do this. Let's zoom in real tight, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's this stuff right here. Do you see how there's like a white line going around the building like you traced it with like a little white marker? That's the thing we see very, very often. Uh, it, part of it comes from post-processing. Sometimes it can be actually in nature, but today we're going to just get rid of it. Here's what we do. We're going to go choose the clone stamp tool from over here uh, inside of Photoshop. This is a, definitely a Photoshop tip. Photoshop tip, yeah! So um, start by getting the clone stamp tool. Uh, it's uh, It's been around a while. It's been in Photoshop for like 35 years. It was in Photoshop 1.0. So, but you're just going to change one thing. You're going to go up here to the uh, options bar at the top, right? You're going to go to options bar way up here, and you're going to change this blend mode from normal to darken. That's right. We're going to switch it to darken. What does that do? That tells Photoshop only affect the pixels that are brighter than where I sample. So to sample, you actually you'll get you'll get the brush, and uh, make sure it's a nice soft brush, right? Nice soft brush, and Option click. So if you're on Mac, it's option click. If you're on Windows, it's alt click right nearby in a clean area. And then when you go over here to paint, it won't erase the building. It'll only erase things that are brighter than that sky that you sampled on. So let's move over here and you can get rid of these glows really quickly and you don't have to worry about accidentally erasing. As you can see, I just painted way over the building. You don't have to worry about erasing the building. What about these little detail areas? Look, you can go right between these things and just get rid of it and it works. Whoops, I don't know what's going on with my mouse there. Sorry, my, my mouse, it's not a mouse, my trackpad went crazy there for a second, but that's it. You can just move right through this really quickly. You can go between the leaves of trees and stuff like that, and you can get rid of that offensive, <laughs> offensive glow. And there you have it. That's our glow situation. Now, if for any reason that doesn't work, or you're dealing with a dark glow or something else, then I'll give you a second scenario. Let's set this back to normal. And what you would do is you would get the quick selection tool. And let's say you select this area of sky kind of right here. So we kind of select that area right there. When you make a selection around something like this, it's like you're putting up a fence. Like you're basically saying, look, we can't, anything that we do will have to be inside this selected area. So for example, uh, if I were to option click out here in the blue sky and I tried to paint inside here, it won't let me do it. It will only let me paint inside there. So see that little line there? It will let me paint inside that selected area, but it won't let me paint outside. So that's what you could do. If it was a dark glow or something else, you could option click here and then paint right up to that edge to get rid of it. All right, and that's that's how you would get rid of that stuff. And we're gonna go ahead and get rid of that line just because it looks stupid. And uh, that's so that's Plan B. The other one will work most of the time, certainly for those light colored ones. But uh, yeah, look, you can hear. We'll we'll see the difference here. So yeah, let's go right here, and you can see the difference. And it's it's gone. So from there to there. All right. So that's it, guys. Thanks. Have a great show and be kind to Mr. Kuna because he's all alone and scared because he's not gallivanting. And as you know, he's used to gallivanting. Thanks, everybody. And I hope to see you back next week here on The Grid. And here's Kuna.